Professor was just a um, hit my son and had him be sick. And at that point, I knew there was, um, that whole thing was not safe. It wasn't safe at all. Let's go back to that morning because you had told him do not go down to the protest. Yes. Um, he told me the night before that, you know, everybody was supposed to meet up at Mondalmin Mall. And I said to him, Michael, go to school. Don't go to Mondalmin. It was going to bring you in, so. But, you know, me and my oldest daughter, I had a doctor's appointment. And we started getting phone calls that they was letting the school know early that they were shutting down Mondalmin. And she was like, no, we have to go. Wow. You know, you have to leave the doctors off. We have to go. And so to get there and see the mass of police and the helicopters and... You know, I actually ran over to the police and I said, you know, where are the children that have to um, take this bus route here? But tell us when you first saw your son, Toya. Take us there. So I was speaking with the police officer and he pointed across the street from Mondalmin Mall. Um, I stood there on the same side as the police with the shields and they were throwing bricks. And I was like in awe, like, it was, it was like, oh my God. And to see my son come across the street with a rock in his hand, I think at that point I just lost it. You recognize the baggy sweatpants. I recognize the baggy sweatpants. He did have the hoodie on and he did have the um, face mask on, but it was something about those sweatpants he had on. And you also made eye contact. And we made eye contact.
children, it's just me and my children. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't go out. I don't, you know, do any of that thing. Only thing I do is church, and it's me and my children and my grandchildren. What did you think when you saw that tape of you? I'm sure. I thought, oh my God, my pastor is gonna have a fit. <laughs>